Hey everybody, I'm back. So if you're new to the channel, I'm the Empress. Happy to be here with y'all today. Um, if this message resonates with you, all the better guys, be sure to like, share with your family and your friends, and subscribe if you are new. Alright, um, I'm getting a message up guys that somebody was trying to break you down. Um, somebody could have been doing their best to like make sure that you don't succeed, trying to put hiccups in front of you, trying to throw all types of things in your way to kind of slow you down, okay? That's the energy that I'm picking up for the collective, guys. We're going to try to get this information on this person. Let's see what this person's intentions, what, 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 what they want, like what they, what they want, what they want. Let's see what we get, y'all. What's up with this person? I'm definitely getting, like, somebody tried to break y'all. They wanted to break y'all down. Y'all was too confident. Y'all was too strong. Y'all was too independent. Y'all had too many goals and aspirations in life. You want something out of life. This person does not want you to disconnect from them because they don't have any goals in life. They don't have nothing going on in life. They don't want you to get past them. They don't want you to move past them. Yep. Spirit is saying to protect your energy, okay? Protect your energy. We got... Queen, divine feminine. This is you. This is for the divine feminine. Okay. Because you're over here too calm and relaxed, living a good life. Y'all could be getting ready to go out of town, go to Miami, go to the beach, go to Florida, whatever. Whatever it is, your scenery, how you present yourself, how you, sh what you show is just too relaxed and too calm. This person is over here being stressed out, got a lot going on. Could be a lot of work that they have to do. They may be frustrated from work. This person could be frustrated with everything that they got going on in their lives. But you, Divine Feminine, you are over here relaxed and calm. Okay? You living like a stress-free life. Spirit is saying, look, you need to protect that energy. You need to protect your space. Okay? This person over here is in tears over you. Okay? But see, something about... Um, their ego here. This person has a big, huge ego. They don't want you to see them in this space right here. They don't want you to see that, okay? And there's something here about home, about home space, okay? So I wanna get a little bit more information about this person. Okay, for some of you, this person could be I'm hearing protect your family, okay? Protect your loved ones. I'm hearing that as well, okay? But this is could also be saying, yeah, see, some of y'all are on the spiritual journey. You had to close this chapter with this person because you went further than them. You're going further than them. So these, these people are starting to drop off. This upsets this person. Every time this person thinks about you, they get upset. You was this person's happy place and they don't have that happy place anymore because it looks like you have closed a chapter with this person. This person could be family. Okay. This could be family. But I feel like for some of you, this person also is upset this person could also be gossiping about you, um, could be making up rumors about you, about who you um, could be sleeping with. This person still desires you, okay? This person still wants to uh, be with you. This person still wants to be with you. For some of you, this could be a family member or someone that's close to home. Like, something is close about this situation. But I feel like this person has anxiety. This person has worries. They have things that could be going on in their home that they're anxious about, that they're worried about. Okay, so this is why they're upset with you. Because it looks like their home life is pretty, you know, because this person is burning a sage bundle. Okay, this person burning sage. They're trying to cleanse their energy. 
where they need to cleanse their energy because it looks like their home life may be a little chaotic, okay? I'm getting somebody, they could be coming from a, a ego, a space of ego. They're, they're gossiping about you, okay? They are gossiping about you. They could be saying, look, yeah, she was over there crying because uh, somebody that she was dating, she could have found out that he was in a third party, yada, da, 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 da. For some of you, like I said, it could be um, an ex-lover. This person could be in tears over the situation and still wanting to connect with you, be around you. But they're too busy gossiping instead of coming to you and telling you how they feel. They're sitting here gossiping. The life that they live is very chaotic. The life that they live is chaotic, okay? I'm getting a lot of gossiping going on, a lot of sitting on the phone, talking shit about, about you. Why is protect and serve here? Tell me why protect and serve is here. Palm tree, this is your space. Okay. Some of y'all um definitely need to get some protection work. Get some protection work done. Um wear your evil eyes, necklaces, bracelets, because some of y'all Y'all need to keep this person away from your home because this person looks at you as like you don't have any boundaries or you're an empath. Um, they look at you as like you're easily manipulated, easily charmed, okay? This person sits around and they talk about you, okay? This person sits around and they talk about you. They talk about how you could be chasing after a man, okay? Chasing after someone to date, looking for somebody to like you, okay? So be careful what you tell this person because this person is really like they're not for you. Why is family here? Not today. Spirits say not today, okay? So somebody, you could not be dealing with this person because there's something that this person could have did. You're avoiding this person. It could be for some of you, it's a family member and you're avoiding this family member. They're not welcoming your home, okay? You had to make this choice to sabotage this connection because you found out some clarity. You got some truth about this person that they are talking about you, talking about, um, you know, a karmic situation that you could have been in or somebody dealing with a karmic, okay? This is the T, okay? So, yeah, mm -mm. so y'all cut them off, okay? So, for some of you, this may be more than one person. I'm getting it. This could be more than one person. Tell me why tears is here. The snake. This person is your competition. Just know that. This person is a snake. This person loves to see you hurt. They wear this mask like they love you so much. Like they love you so much. But this person is really a snake. You need to keep an eye on that. Let's get some more information on this person. Why is the snake here? this person's energy okay I'm getting like somebody they feel like you're stuck in a cycle okay they feel like you're stuck in a cycle I'm hearing what goes around comes around. Okay, so they feel like you're stuck in a cycle. 
So I'm hearing what goes around comes around. Who is this person? Yeah, see, they want something to fall apart for you. They don't want you to get your desires. They want everything that you put your energy to to fall apart and crumble. This person could, this person ain't shit. I'll tell you that right now. Desire. Tell me why desire is here. Why is desire here? Heartbroken. Okay. So this is somebody for some of you. This could be a family member or this could be someone that you were dealing with. For a lot of you, I think this could be someone that you were in a relationship with and you guys disconnected from each other. Okay, because we got breakup, separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Okay, and this person wants you to be heartbroken. They want you to be heartbroken. Maybe because they're dealing with the karmic. Why is heartbroken here? Heart was the key. Welcome and love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, and perfect. So this person wants you to be heartbroken because at one point in time, you and this person's connection was uh, perfect. It was a perfect love story. Everything was good. And then all of a sudden, it fell apart. And this person wanted it to fall apart, okay? Because for some reason, this person wanted you to feel some type of pain, some type of hurt. This person is really, real deal coming from a, a space of ego, okay? So they power tripping, they power tripping. And this person loves to wear a mask. This person loves to wear a mask. Like, for some of you, this is your twin flame. Why is the ego here? The butterfly. This person's ego is way too big. Evolving. This person's ego is way too big. They send me over here gossiping. Gossiping, okay. We got the runner and wedding rings and coughing. Okay, they run around telling your business. This person run around telling all your business about what went on in your marriage or what went on in your situation while your situation ended. Okay, so this person is running around telling your business. Okay, why is home here? Hand of cards. All right. So this person is. This person has a multitude of options. They got a bunch of different places that they can call home. Okay. So they're out here gambling. Like they're out here gambling their hand. They got a hand that's full of uh, aces. Okay. So they're out here doing whatever it is that they want to do. They got a lot of options. Got a different place, a bunch of places that they can go. A lot of people that they're talking to. We got talking. Who they're engaging with, communicating with. Okay, so this is why they have anxiety. Because they got all these different energies um, that they're engaging with. All these different energies that, that um, they're mixing with theirs. Why is anxiety here? Photograph. They've been looking at your pictures, missing you, having nostalgia over you, and this makes them nervous, okay? Because they feel like their time has, um, time is, time is like winding down. They want to try to get you close to them, okay? So they feel like they're missing out, okay? They feel like they're missing out. They feel like you could be dating someone else, okay? Cupid's arrow and date. They, they're having anxiety because looking at your pictures, they feel like you are dating someone else, okay? They feel like you're dating someone else. So I, for some of you, I don't feel like this is a family member. For some, it could be. But for some, this is someone that you were dealing with. Tell me more about family. It's like y'all not on the same page. You and this person are not like a family unit anymore, like how you used to be. It's like y'all not on the same page. Mirror. Okay, so this person is marrying you. Y'all are marrying each other. This person is definitely wearing a mask, okay? So y'all not a family anymore. Y'all don't look at each other as family anymore. And they're spying on you. Sunglasses. They're spying on you. So this person, like I said, they're running around telling your business to people.
They run around telling because they see you over here healing. You're healing from the heartbreak, okay? You're healing from this situation. So now they want to keep the drama going by running around telling your business. Making up stories, making up rumors about you, trying to make you look bad. Coffee cup, yep. They want to, they are around here running your business down about who you talk to, who they'll tell anybody who will listen. Coffee cup is meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplift with friendship. They're going around telling anybody who will listen who it is that you're dealing with. They don't care. They don't care. They just running, running your business down. Anybody who asks them about what happened with, they running it down with no hesitation. No hesitation at all. None whatsoever. So I think it's very clear that this is someone that you could have been um, dealing with. They're upset. They are upset. What's going on with this person? What's going on in this person's life? Why is this person upset with the divine feminine? Why is this person upset with the divine feminine? Why is this person upset with the divine feminine? Oh. Yep. You cut them off. You, you started working on something else. You got busy doing something else. And then you guys got distance. And then you got distant from each other. And it just ended. Okay. And this person is still stuck here. This person is still stuck. They're still in love with you. Okay. And they still have these thoughts in their mind. And it's like you guys are very disconnected. Like you're busy. It looks like you're busy working on something. And this person is at a distance from you. And then we got coffee. And it, it just ended. I'm getting like it ended on bad terms. This person still has that thought in their mind. What else? this person throwing obstacles in my collective way what are what what are their intentions towards the collective what is this person's intentions Person is trying to force you to communicate. They've been waiting. Um, they they're in a stressful situation. They can't. I'm here. Not we. I can't talk right now. I can't talk right now. But I'm hearing them say I can't talk right now. But this person, we got the Knight of Cups and the Lovers here at the bottom of the deck. This person still wants to offer you some type of love. This person still has love for you. Okay. So let's see what's going on. I'm feeling like I'm hearing like they just can't talk, can't talk about it right now. Six of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Sun, and Star, and Seven of Cups. They are spying on you. They're watching you. Because they want to see if y'all can get back on good terms. I see, like, it looks like uh, this person is very disappointed, okay? They they aren't happy in the situation that they're in. Um, why is this four of cups then? The ace of wands. All right, so... This person is saying... Okay, this person knows, their intuition is telling them that if they were to get caught sneaking or being being sneaky or cheating or doing anything out of character with you, you're not going to accept them back. You're not going to allow it. Why is that it's a one to? Yep, it's not going to work. It's not going to work, okay? 
yep. This person felt like if they could break you down, then they could start to make you uh, come up, with, make you decide, make you choose. Okay, so this person tried to purposely break you down. This could be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Aries. Um, we got the Five of Wands and the Ace of Cups. They felt like you should fight or compete. Okay, this is them breaking you down. Three of Swords and the Tower. So if this person tried to put you in a competition with somebody, tried to put you in a place where you they felt like you felt like you weren't the only one, they did this to try to break you down. Okay, so it was about who's gonna get first place. Who is going to get first place? So this person wanted to put you in competition, and that's for facts. They wanted to put you in competition to force you to make a decision. So they were trying to put you in a position to where you would have to fight for them, and how far would you go, okay? But I don't feel like it worked out the way they, that they thought it was going to work out. Yep, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. This person was telling you a lot of things that that um, that you just wanted to hear. I'm seeing that. I'm getting that there was a lot of issues that needed to be resolved. They just weren't resolved. This person is regretting this connection that they are in now, but they was just telling. They either telling this person what they want to hear or they was telling you what you want to hear at the time. Okay, I'm getting that it was you. They didn't feel like you um I'm getting like you didn't speak, you didn't tell how you feel at the moment when y'all were together. So everybody thought that um this person should switch, switch up on you. Switch up. I don't think this person was going to initially do it because we got the two of swords and three of wands. They they were uncertain about it, which direction to go, how they were going to do it, if they wanted to do it. But they had a, they thought about it. They thought about it and they took a risk and they took a leap of faith. They took a leap of faith. So they went elsewhere. Now we got the six of pentacles. They're trying to give you some type of sign. They wondering they're like if you're paying attention. Why is the six of pentacles here at the tower? Mm -hmm. This person wanted to break you down. It didn't work, okay? It did not work. This person wanted you to tell that, tell his family that you were sorry. So they, this person wanted also to get approval from family because we got the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Okay, so this person wanted you to tell family, friends, people who they're around um, that you are sorry. They were waiting on, uh, this family could have been waiting on some type of explanation or some type of call from you. Um, so this person, once again, was trying to break you down to get you to uh, come towards him and do things the way that he wanted to do it. So I feel like that's why this person put you in a situation to where you either A, had to walk away, B, Walk away. <laughs> All right. So the challenge is that this person is reliving that with the six of cups. There could be a Leo involved, but we got the three of cups. See how? See, this person was trying to get you to cooperate. This person wanted to break you down to get you to cooperate, to, to see his side, okay? To see his side. In order for y'all to get back together, work on this connection, this person had to break you down first. Yep. Could be an Aquarius. This person was hoping that that would bring more passion into the connection, but ultimately, ultimately, it did not. The um, what it actually did was push you away. This person did not want to be single anymore. They didn't want to live a single life anymore. So they made a choice. It's like they felt like they didn't have a choice. 
They were going to tell you that they were just trying it out. They just wanted to see how it was going to go. So they dealt, went off and ran off with the karmic. Just to test the waters. Now, it looks like moving forward, they know that they should have chose you. They know that they should have chose you. They felt forced to kind of make a decision. They want you to come kind of like rescue them from this karmic that they were dealing with. Now, the thing about it is, is this person is watching you. They see you as the divine feminine, the divine feminine that you are. They see you looking real pretty. You're sitting pretty. You're doing good. They see that. But they're tired of you winning, okay? They're tired of you winning. Everything that you do, you're winning at it. And this is pissing this person off, okay? They see that you have grown. They see that you've elevated, but they are tired of seeing it. They're tired of it. This person is trying to figure out who you talk to. If there's this masculine man here with this king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, they um they are peeping you out. They think that you're communicating with the guy. Okay, they they they're watching. Mm hmm This person is trying to stop it. Yep, they're trying to stop it. Nine of Wands. They're trying to stop you from jumping out there and taking this risk, okay, from talking to another. It looks like someone has your interest because what it is going to do is going to piss this person off. This person got possessive energy. This person has like real, real addictive type of possessive type of energy, okay? So be careful with what you show or some of y'all just don't even really much care. I see y'all out here living y'all best life. Queen of Wands. Y'all out here being very, like, I'm getting, like, fun, feisty, living your best life, okay? And y'all out here having no regrets. Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups. Y'all not out here having regrets, okay? This person lied. They cheated. They did whatever they do, and they missed out. They missed out. They missed out on something good. I'm getting that this person is scared to come back um, with this Bible swords and a Knight of Wands. They are scared to approach you. They're scared of how you look at them. Like, what is your impression of them? They know that they will have to come to you and apologize. Why is the judgment here? I'm telling you, this person still, they know that they would have to, come. they have, now they have to fight for you. How they were trying to break you down and make you fight for them. They know if they were to come back, come back around you, they feel like they would have to fight for, fight for you again. They would have to fight for you. It's not going to be easy. This person is already in their relationship. They are already in them. They are in a connection. They feel like you're making them stay. Like you're making them stay there. Like you're not giving them a crack, an inch of anything to show that you're vulnerable to them. They do want to come towards you. My left eye is jumping too. They do want... Um, to come towards you, okay? But they want you they want you to feel like they made some type of change. They're gonna try to be as honest as they can be. But this person, they they are definitely they're trying to throw obstacles in your way. They're trying to find ways to slow you down. They're sitting here spying on you, looking and seeing who's commenting on any of your pictures, looking to see who you're interested in, who's interested in you. They're keeping an eye on that, okay? So this is definitely, I feel like definitely like an ex, all right? So y'all let me know what's going on. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.